and welcome to French Ride Trains. Today, we're going to be building the CSX SD40-3 square cab rebuild here. And this is another updated build, as we did do one of these a long time ago, and it was in desperate need of an update here. So here's a quick side-by-side -side shot with the old version on the left. And as you can see, it was very outdated, especially around the trucks. And on this new one, updating it here is actually giving us the correct boxcar logo on the side, as well as a lot of updated other details. So let's get right into this new build now. So as usual, we'll start with the rear coupler. So take a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then three polished black stone on the bottom middle on the next block forward. And an upside down polished black stone stair on either side. Then five polished black stone across here. Come in here, open a dark oak fence gate on the bottom here and on this side. Then we're gonna put two lightning rods here, two over here. Swing in front of it and do a three block tall T shape of polished black stone in the middle. And then hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. In front of that, a five by three of polished black stone coming out to each side of the tracks. Then we're gonna put three oak slabs coming up this side for stairs. And three on this side here. Then three polished black stone slabs on this top middle. Then we need to grab mangrove fence gate and a creeper head. We're gonna put two fence gates and a creeper head for the MU cable. Now, come in front of this, we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate like this on each rail. In front of that, we need to get a netherite wheel on each rail with a cauldron in between them. Then in the middle, a lectern. Then we're gonna put two dark oak trap doors on bottom of each side. And then a fence gate in the middle here. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then we'll put a string in the middle and a lectern in the middle. Then two dark oak trap doors on the bottom of each side and a sideways dark oak fence gate in the middle. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron, a lectern in the middle, and a sideways dark oak fence gate on either side of this. Then we'll come through and we're gonna put a hopper on the sides of all six wheels here. And then we'll crouch and we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on the sides of each hopper. And same thing over here. With their skeleton skulls on the sides of all three hoppers. And then we'll come up top on the middle and do a line of polished black stone up the center till you're above this lectern. Then on the side of it, a full row of dark oak fence gates here. And a full row of dark oak fence gates right here. Then directly in front of this, we're gonna take polished black stone and put three of them across this bottom middle here. And we're gonna go three wide and 15 blocks long. Once you have 15, just fill this all in so it's a big rectangle. And then we'll do the next truck. So in front of this, we're gonna put a dark oak fence gate on either rail like this then a lectern facing this way here. Then a set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then two dark oak trap doors on either side of the bottom. A dark oak fence gate here. And in this middle, a string and a lectern facing this way. Then another set of netherite wheels with a cauldron in between them. Then on the middle here, we'll put a dark oak fence gate here and a lectern here. Then two dark oak trap doors on bottom of each side. And 
then a final set of netherite wheels with a cauldron between them. And then a dark oak fence gate here and here. Then we're going to come back here on top of this fuel tank. We're going to put two rows of three polished blackstone at the back here and two rows of three at the front. Then we'll come up the center with polished blackstone till it's above these fence gates and a full row of dark oak fence gates on the side up here. Same thing over here, a full row of dark oak fence gates. Then we'll come through and put a hopper on the sides of all six wheels here. Then same as before, we're gonna crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the sides of all the hoppers. Same thing over here, wither skeleton skulls on the sides of the hoppers. Now come on the side of this fuel tank on bottom and we're gonna put a full row of upside down, outward facing, polished blackstone stairs along the bottom of this. And we'll do the same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs on the bottom of it on this side. Then we'll come on this top middle, on the middle three of the upper hip box here. And we'll go three wide with polished blackstone slabs and bring it down to the other end of the fuel tank. So our fuel tank gets this see-through bit from the side here. Then we're gonna come up in front of this here. And right in front of it, we'll do a five by three of polished black stone block coming out to each side. Then a T-shape in the middle, hang a lantern on either side of the second layer. Then on the bottom middle, three polished black stone stairs and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. Above that, a block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of that. Then three polished black stone slabs on this top middle, three oak slabs coming up this side gap, three oak slabs on this side. Take out a dark oak stair for the front coupler, stack it up to this middle second block. Under that, we're gonna do a sideways dark oak fence gate, then open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the bottom. Then two lightning rods here, two over here. Then up here, we'll put two mangrove fence gates and a creeper head. Then we're gonna come back on the front of the field tank here on the second block back. Put a mangrove button here and here. Then behind that, an inward facing dragon head on each side. Then behind that, we need to do a sideways dark oak fence gate here and here. And then one going this way here and here. Then we'll go ahead and crouch and we're gonna put a mangrove sign on the side of this fence gate. Same thing over here put a mangrove sign on the side of this fence gate. Then behind this we do the air tanks and we'll just do a full row of sideways anvils to the back of the fuel tank here. Then same thing on this side, a full row of sideways anvils for the air tank on this side. Then come to the back of the fuel tank and we're gonna put a brewing stand on top here and one on this side. Now come stand on top of this, crouch, and we're gonna put a single polished deep slate slab above each of these six hoppers. Then in between them, we move one hip box down and put two in the gaps between them on all four corners here. And we'll repeat the process on the other truck. So slabs above all six of these hoppers. Then in the gaps between them, we move one hip box down and put two in all four of these sides here. Just like that. Then grab a dark oak fence here and we're gonna put one on the center wheel and same thing up here. Then do the other side, one on the center here and one here. Then we're gonna take grindstones, one here and here. Same thing over here, one here and here. And we 
repeat the process for this truck and on this side. Then we'll take lightning rods and we put two here, two here, turn around and we do two here and two here. And we repeat it for this truck. So two here, two here, and then get this other side. Then we're gonna come up top on the third layer and we're gonna go end to end on the top middle three with polished black stone block. Now take yellow concrete in this top corner and we're gonna bring a line till it's one block past this wheel. Same thing on this corner, bring a line till it's one block past this inner wheel. And then do the same thing on this side. And in this corner here, because this walkway actually raises up in the center, so this is one of our new details. Then take an oak stair, upside down oak stair here and here, turn the other way, and an upside down oak stair here and here. Then in between here, a full row of oak slabs on this upper hitbox. And same thing on this side, and this gives us the raised portion of the walkway. Then once we have that, we need to take out birch signs for the little caution tape on the side. And we're gonna start right here, and we're just gonna put a blank birch sign every other block. bring it down to the other end and do the same thing on the opposite side. Then grab a bell, come to the front of the fuel tank on this conductor side here, and we're going to hang a bell under here. Now come on top of the front on the fourth block in, in the middle, and do a three by three of yellow concrete. Then, behind this, on each side here, a three by three of blue concrete here, and same thing on this side. Then three on this top, and right here we're gonna put a temporary block, a warp trap door, open it, take out the temporary block. Down here we're gonna put two blue shulker boxes and a blue concrete up in this corner. On this side, just two blue shulker boxes. Then we're going to bring another six shulker boxes back. On this side, we're going to do four blue concrete, one blue shulker box. Then on the side of this row of blue concrete, we're going to put four ladders for some vent details. Then up here, four blue concrete. And then on this side, start right here and do five blue concrete. Then we'll come up here, we're gonna do a blue concrete, two yellow, then a warp door here, and turn one here. Right here on the front, blue concrete, two yellow, then a door here, and a door here. Then right here, two black stained glass, and a blue concrete. Then over here, two black stained glass, and a blue concrete. Now take a blue banner, crouch, and put one on this trap door in the middle. Then we're gonna come on the side crouch and put one on this side door to cover it so we get the right color. And we'll do the same thing over here for this back side door here. Put a blue banner over that. Now we need to put two oak buttons under this yellow concrete and a white stained glass paint up there. On this side, two oak buttons right here. Then we're gonna come on this top middle crouch and we need to get three blue concrete across this middle here. Then we'll put three blue stained glass panes on the front of it. Behind that, we're gonna do a three by three of white wool. And this is a square cab. So we're just gonna put a row of white wool on the sides instead of stairs like we normally would. And now, that the shape of the cab is done here, we're gonna to move to the back. 
we're gonna come on the fifth block in, so leave a four block gap of space up here. Put three blue concrete across the middle here. And then a three by four of yellow concrete above it. Then we're gonna move up here behind the cab and do two columns of blue concrete up to the top on each side like this and in the top middle. Then on this side, we'll do a three by four on each side. Then three polished basalt on the top of each side and a three by three of dark prismarine slabs on the top above it. Now we'll do two more columns of four blue concrete on each side. Then on this top middle, we need a smoker and surround it with blue concrete. On top, surround it with warp trap doors, and that's for the exhaust. Now come to the back in the center and do a line of seven cobbled deep slate. And we're just going to raise that right up the middle till it's at the top. Then on the bottom of this, on the side, we're going to do three layers of sideways blue shulker boxes. Same thing on this side, three layers of shulker boxes on this side. Then up here, we'll do a three by two of iron bars, two blue concrete, and a three by two of iron bars. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side, in that same pattern. Then we're going to take dark prismarine slabs up here, make a plus shape in the center. Then one connected back here and one connected up here. Put oak trap doors on the centers of all three of these. Now come in front of this here and we're just going to fill in this whole side up to the top with blue concrete. And bring that forward till it meets up here. And of course, we'll do the same thing on this side. Fill this in all the way to the top with blue concrete. And then go ahead and fill this top middle as well. Then take a dark prismarine stair, one block in front of these iron bars on the side of the top, and an upside down backward facing stair on either side. Then we're going to do five outward facing deep slate tile stairs and five over here. Then an outward facing dark prismarine and a forward facing. Same thing here. Then on the center of this deep slate tile section, take dark prismarine slabs and make two connected plus shapes for the dynamic brake bands. Knock out the centers, put in cobble deep slate, and then oak trap doors. Back here, put a warped trap door on the center here. And then next to it over here, we'll do our horn. So we're going to open back-to-back -back warp fence gates right here. Then come on top of the cab, and we're going to fill this top middle three up here with iron trap doors until you get to the end of the white. Behind it, we'll do two rows of blue carpet up here. And we're actually going to take out this trap door and put in a lever. Then we'll go ahead and cover the top of this nose with blue carpet. And then we'll do the rest of the roof. So come back behind the exhaust here and start filling everywhere we haven't built something up here with blue carpet. Making sure to get in between all these fans here. And then come across here, get this other side. And then in between all of these back fans and around the back. Then we're gonna come down on this back porch area. We're gonna change this block to black wool and this block to black wool. Then we'll fill the rest of this with black carpet and a T-shape on the end. Then bring black carpet all the way up this walkway here. And then we'll crouch and put one on this shulker box. And then we'll come up here. Then I'm actually thinking this nose looks too long here. So I'm going to take off all this yellow concrete on the front. 
and we're going to move it back one block. So then take off this and replace it with a 3x3 three three of yellow concrete and then get blue carpet on top of that. That looks more proportional than how it's supposed to be. Then we'll come back up here with black carpet again and we need to crouch, get black carpet on these two shulker boxes and then we'll come around the front here to that side, a T-shape on the very front and one on this shulker box here. Then we'll come back here, do one black carpet and then we need to get blue stained glass panes for our blower and right here we're going to do a 3x4 of blue stained glass panes coming up. Then behind that we'll continue with black carpet and bring it all the way down to the back on this side here. Now take out oak fence right here on the back come up by four. Here we're going to come up three over one and a two by two up here. Repeat it on this side so up three over one and a two by two and here come up four. Then we'll do the same thing at the front. So right here we're going to come up four. Here we'll come up three over one and a two by two up here. Then right here up four. Right here up three over one and a two by two up here. Then we need warp fence, a lectern, and a chain. We're going to put a chain across right here. Then take your warp fence right here, come back two, up one, over one, up one, over one. Then on this side, come back two, up one, and then back three. Now we're going to come to the back, connect up right here, and start bringing it forward up this walkway. When we get right here, we'll come up one over one, up one over one. Now come to the back on this side with our warp fences. Attach it up right here and start bringing it forward. When we get in front of the shelter box, we put one on top here. Then we'll come up front for the logo. And on the center of this yellow concrete, we need to put an oak sign here. And we're just going to type CSX in all capital letters, hit it with blue dye and a glow ink sack. If the logo looks too small, you can just put a piece of blue concrete there. Then we'll come down to the back. Back here on this center, same thing. We'll do an oak sign. type CSX, blue dye, and a glowing sack. Then right here, a chain across this gap. And actually, I think this sign needs to move down one. So take that off, move the sign down one block, type CSX, hit it with blue dye and a glowing sack. Then on either side above it here, we're gonna do a dark oak sign with our number and for this one it's going to be 4044. Do that on each side. Hit those with white dye and a glow ink sack. On the middle a glow item frame with a frog light. Then a glow item frame with a frog light on either side down here. Then on this left hand side we're going to do an open warp fence gate and fill the rest of this side with oak fence gates opened up for the ladder. Then these have this Wabtec brake controller on the back here. And for that, we need a lectern for this brake stand. And we're just going to put a lectern right here. Then we're going to come up and detail the front. So up here, we're going to put a glow item frame with a frog light on the nose here. Then up here, a dark oak sign on either side with 4044. And we'll hit these with white dye and a glow ink sack. Now come into a loom with a blue banner and black dye, make the top half black. 
and then put a blue border on it. And these are for the cab windows we can do. So we're going to put one here, and then one here. Now we're going to come back in a loom with a blue banner and yellow die. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top and bottom. New banner. Horizontal on top and bottom. Then a diagonal. New banner, diagonal, and the other diagonal. We're going to surround these with a blue border on each one. Then we'll do a new banner, yellow die again. Do a border, then make half of it blue like this. Then do a border again and make the opposite half blue so we have a matching pair of these brackets. Then we'll come place this under this dynamic break section up here. Centered on it, we'll put CSX and then a bracket on each side for the boxcar logo. We're going to do the same thing over here. So we're just going to do CSX with the opposite bracket on each side here. Now come back into a loom, blue banner and yellow die, horizontal on the top. Switch to blue die, put a plus shape on it, and then a blue border. This is for the wheels on the boxcar logo, so we'll come up here. And we're going to put one here, one here. And then do the same thing on this side, one here, and one here. Now we'll do the interior, so come inside here. <clears throat> we'll put some frog lights down here for hidden lighting. Then take smooth sandstone slabs at the level of the door and just fill this whole floor in. Then back here, two blast furnaces. Then we're going to do a stair on either side for seats. Then we need to come in and we're going to grab Netherite, put a netherite here for the control stand, and some levers on it. Now the interior is completed here. Now I realized in the edit I forgot a couple details here. Mainly these front ditch lights. So come up here, put a glow item frame on either of these fences with glowstone. And then this walkway on this side is actually raised up for a little bit here. So we're going to come above this back wheel and start knocking out this carpet coming forward. Because we have to make this little raised section on here. Let's so knock out all this. Take out this bottom row of stained glass and this carpet. And then we'll just replace this with a row of oak slabs until it meets up with this carpet. So we have the correct raised section up on there. And there we have it, folks. We finally completed our CSX SD40-3 square cab rebuild and our updated building style here. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.